Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be making a gorgeous glitterific tic-tac-toe board. I do have two molds here, but I'll only be making one board. Because this mold only has the capacity to make two X's and two O's, I thought it would be a lot easier and time-saving to get two molds so that I can make four of each at the same time. I'll also be using less resin epoxy resin which I've recently fallen in love with. I'll talk a little about it a little later in the video but for now I'm going to go ahead and mix up my resin so we can get started. So I'm actually making this board for my girls. Hi Natalie, hi Lily, mommy knows you guys are watching. <laughs> because we travel quite a bit to the big city. We go to Toronto often and it's about three hours from where we live and I thought this could keep them entertained on our trips. Anyways, now that I've mixed up my resin, I'm gonna add a little bit of this white rainbow glitter to this clear resin to give it a little sparkle. I will be making this tic-tac-toe board in three layers. The first layer will be a clear layer, the second layer will be where all the glittery goodness is at, and the third layer will just be a white base for the background of the board. This first layer is unnecessary, but because I want to make this board as perfect as possible for my girls, I'm going to first lay a thin clear layer of resin down. This way I can make sure there are no air bubbles along the edges or on the X's and O's. Mind you, Let's Resin Epoxy Resin is great at degassing itself, especially if you give it a little heat with a heat gun, but because little hands will be playing with this board, I'm taking the extra step to ensure there are no sharp air bubble cavities. Now that the clear layer has cured up, I'm going to go ahead and mix up my second layer. This is where all the sparkly magic is going to happen. I've gone ahead and chosen all the glitters I'm going to use. I've gone for purples and blues since those are my girl's favorite colors. By the way, all these glitters and the mold itself can be found on the Literacy website. I will have all the links down below plus a little discount code so you guys can save yourself a little bit of money. Just look at how gorgeous these glitters are. If you've never tried glitter from Larissi, I highly suggest trying their holographic glitters first. They're absolutely stunning. Now comes the tricky part, mixing in the glitter into the resin. And surprisingly, <laughs> I managed that without making a mess. It's amazing how you can just see how much glitter is in the resin, that it's not sinking to the bottom. Anyone care for some glittery resin, Sue? So I've gone ahead and just randomly chosen to fill the X's with the blue glittery resin and the O's with the purpley glittery resin. I will have to make another set of the X's and O's to have a total of 6 O's and 6 X's. That way there will be enough pieces to end a game without running out of any of the X's and O's, but I will be doing that off camera. Okay, so now it's time to make the game board itself. I'm going to use all the leftover resins I have. I have the rest of the blue resin and the purple resin, plus some clear resin that I initially mixed, and I'm going to mix them all together. And of course, add even more glittery goodness. I'm going to add this transparent holographic glitter, and this is pretty much what the color of the game board will be. I can just watch this clip on repeat. This resin is totally giving me galaxy vibes. If only I had added a little bit of black to it. I won't be filling the mold all the way to the top with this resin. I'm just going to fill it enough to be leveled with the top of the squares because I want the squares to be white. That way the X's and O's will stand out from the board. So like I mentioned before, I am using Less Resin Epoxy Resin to make this game board. Less Resin were very kind and sent me the resin for me to try and I actually really really like it. It cures rock hard and that to me is one of the top things I look for in a resin. Especially when I'm making resin shakers, the resin needs to cure as solid as possible to support being filled with baby oil and all the other little bits that I put inside. Another great thing I found about a Let's Resin Epoxy is that it's easy to mix, it's a 1 to 1 ratio epoxy, and it also mixes really well with glitters and pigments as you can see in this video. 
With time we will have to see how the yellowing goes, but I have seen a video from another YouTuber putting it to the test and a year later the resin hadn't yellowed. So yeah, I'm very excited to have this new resin to work with and I will be experimenting with it to see what it can do. Let me know down in the comments if you've tried Let's Resin Epoxy and if you liked it or not, and if you didn't, why not? It's now the next day and it's time to mix the third and final layer. This layer is going to be white and I'm going to be using this white resin pigment paste to dye the resin. Whenever I mix white resin now, I always use resin pigment paste because I can never find a pigment that gives me a true pure white color. It will either have a yellow or grayish tint to it or I, or I pretty much have to use the whole pigment bottle to get a pure white color that I like. With this pigment paste, I just need to use a small amount and I mean small, I'm pretty sure I'm using way more than I need here. <laughs> and I get a really pure white color like you'll see in just a moment. The downside of using the pigment paste is that you do need to mix it a bit longer than normal resin pigments because it's quite thick, but in my opinion, it's worth it. As you can see, the resin is pure white. There's no grayness or yellowness to it. It's like I'm pouring house paint. The tic-tac-toe board is now fully cured and I'm going to go ahead and demold all the pieces. I'm so excited to see how glittery it's going to be. Whoa, just look at all the sparkly goodness. The holographic glitter is just chef's kiss. I'm also really impressed by how shiny the pieces are too. I was contemplating whether or not I dome everything, but I don't think I have to. The pieces have a lovely shine to them. I've also gone ahead and made the extra set of the X's and O's like I said I would earlier in the video, and they came out really nice too. Now, for the big reveal of the board. Wow, just look at that. Definitely galaxy vibes. This is why I love crafting with resin. I can enjoy how gorgeous glitter is without the risk of making a big mess since the glitter is stuck inside the resin. <laughs> By the way, I just wanted to show you guys how hard Let's Resin Epoxy is. I can't bend it, and you can just hear how solid the board is with my knock. So what do we all think? Let me know down below and also comment what colors you guys would make this board if you were to make one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss any future resin crafting videos. I'm off to give this tic-tac-toe board to my girls. Bye guys! See you in the next one!